What's up guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. So you might notice that I'm in a different background in this video and that is because I'm in my bedroom and I have finally filmed my bedroom tour. I'm so excited to share this video because the bedroom is probably my favorite room in the whole house and you will see why very soon. Uh, I've done quite a few DIYs in this room and the things that I have bought, I have done my absolute best to find the best value versions of them that I can, which is everything from my headboard to my mattress to my chairs to my ottoman, I really found some really really good value brands that I can't wait to show you guys. I'm going to stop rambling now and get straight into the tour and I will see you at the end. So on your left hand side here you've got a floor to ceiling wardrobe and it's got three different doors so there's loads of space in here and this is where all of Yosef's stuff is so all of his clothes and shoes and he actually doesn't have that much stuff but it's all in here which is great so you walk through this little entrance part here and then you've got your storage heater very boring very ugly but what are you gonna do they're in every house so then you walk in here and the first thing I'm going to show you is my dresser so as you can see, this is an extremely bright part of the room. The whole room in general gets so much natural light. It's amazing. It has this aspect window. They kind of meet each other here and it runs all the way down here as well. But I have these big curtains that are kind of in separate bunches, but they all pull together to block out all the light. And then we have a big blind here as well. Obviously, if we're leaving the house, I usually close them and I have to protect my cosmetics here. So I usually have this part pulled over just so there's no direct light shining in on all my perfume because it's really, really bad for your perfumes. So I've just pulled the blind back down just to give you a better look at my dresser. So this is it here. I think I can like sit down here. Here we go. Hello again. So this dresser is such a good find. Yosef found this in a charity shop for 25 euro and in our old apartment, we just didn't have space for it. So it was in storage in the bottom of the stairs for so long, almost like four years. And it was only when we moved here that I finally had the space to get it all set up. So this right here is my perfect little get ready area. So I've got all my makeup here. This is the container for my steam pod. This little guy here is actually a really good portable speaker. I like to turn this on when I'm getting ready and I'm listening to my tunes. It's it's actually really really good uh, and then all here I've got all my makeup and I actually don't have too much makeup I really try and keep it to a minimum it's getting pretty stuff now because I am trying lots of new amazing products but I usually try and uh, just try and keep it down because I know that makeup can just become this overflowing situation so quickly uh, most of my skincare is actually in the bathroom the only skincare that I keep here are things like everyday SPF this is actually the new Kiehl's one it's amazing and you know some facial spray and stuff like that but it's pretty much all makeup there's a little bit of hairspray and hair stuff here as well then I have this gorgeous little marble table for my perfumes I actually got this in Dunn's on sale for seven euro and it's a beautiful marble texture it's gorgeous and then I have some of my favorite perfumes here at the moment they're all very light and very summery so another thing that I love about this dresser is this gorgeous gold lamp which matches seamlessly with the rest of the gold this was a bit of a steal in TK Maxx I think it was maybe like 12 euro. I actually like that it doesn't have a lampshade. I think it's quite cool. So this right here is my DIY furry stool. It's probably the easiest Ikea hack ever. If you want to know how I made this, I will leave the link to the video below. It's so, so easy and it's really inexpensive as well. The most expensive part about this is the cushion. So depending on what kind of cushion you want, it can be as cheap or as pricey as you want. Then over here next to the vanity, I have this gorgeous little chair. I'm going to move this pillow so you can see. This guy, I got on eBay and including shipping it was under 150 euro which I think is incredible. If you guys watched one of my recent interiors and furniture haul videos you will have seen this before so if you want a better look at it um, maybe go check that out but I will leave a link to the seller below. This is one of those really handy easy fit fixtures. I'm gonna hop up again and show you. All you have to do is pop it on to your light. It's so, like it couldn't be easier. I was able to do this which I think was really saying something. This is another DIY project and I absolutely love this. So I ordered this off eBay and it was I think about 13 euro. It could have been less actually. And when it arrived these little beady things that hang down were disassembled and you obviously have to pop them on so I decided to spray it gold before I assemble them and I'm going to hop up on my ottoman and give you a closer look 
this is the finished effect. I think it looks really beautiful. These little hanging things aren't actually real glass, they're plastic, so they're super safe. And I think the whole thing looks really pretty. And again, it was so cheap and cheerful. Okay, so next up we are moving on to the bed area, which is definitely my favorite part of the whole room. I actually only recently finished the last touches of it and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna first show you guys my ottoman. And again, you'll have seen this before if you watched some of my recent interiors videos. This I got also on eBay from an amazing seller and I chose the fabric myself. I chose the color and the style of my legs and it was custom made for me, which is incredible. And the price again was really, really reasonable. I think it was around 150 euro, including shipping for a five foot storage ottoman, which is so cool. It's also a great place to put your loungewear because you want your loungewear to be close to the bed, I think. And it's so perfect to throw it all in here. So now moving on to the bed, which is probably my favorite place in the whole world. I'm gonna talk you guys through what's going on here. Now, one of the things I really, really wanted to show you are my bedside tables because this is actually another little DIY. So you'll be able to see from some of the clips that I will show you now that these were actually a brown color originally. They were super dark brown. Uh, I didn't really like them. They didn't go with any of the other colors in the room, but rather than buying a new set of bedside tables, I thought I might be able to give these a new lease of life with a fresh lick of paint. These were the bedside tables that actually came with the apartment and my landlord was so, so nice. He said I could paint them if I wanted to. So I picked up some wood paint in Woody's. I think it was about six or seven euro and I also got some sandpaper because the brown on these was actually kind of a gloss brown paint. So I sanded them down, which actually was quite tiring. And then I started with the wood paint and I I think I did about five coats in total. I'm leaving them obviously to dry in between and I am so happy with how it turned out. They look like they were bought this way. Now I've never painted anything before so I am pretty impressed with my skills. I also sprayed the handles gold. I just kind of taped around the outside and sprayed them just to add another little styling touch because there are so many gold details in the room. The white color really matches with everything else and they look so so different to the brown color. I couldn't get over it when and they were dry, um, so I'm really, really happy with them. These little lamps that I have on the bedside tables are from TK Maxx. I actually got these on sale. I think they were about 17 or 18 euros each. And again, they're that lovely little gold detail that matches really, really well with my dressing table. And then right here, I've actually never shown this on my channel before. This is my Philips wake up light. This is one of my saviors on early mornings. If I have a call time at like five o'clock, uh, obviously the sun's not gonna be up. And I set this guy to wake up at five so what it does is it mimics the sun and it goes from a really really low light to a super super bright light that naturally wakes you up it's incredible especially in the winter time i actually think i'm going to do a separate video on sleeping tips and tips to get up early so, and that will definitely be featured in it but yeah i just wanted to show you in case you're wondering what that big orb is <laughs> and then i have this gorgeous little dip tea candle which i started lighting only about a week ago and oh my god the smell is incredible it's that really nice woody smell it's gorgeous for the bedroom. I love it so, so much. If you're looking for a new diptyque, FYI, this smell is incredible. Okay, so moving on to the bedspread. I'm just gonna jump off the bed so I can show you. This little throw rug that I have at the end is from Next Home. I will leave a link to it below. It's really, really soft and I have taken Manny a nap under this. And then my bedspread is from Penny's, I think. I can't remember, I've had it for ages, but it's just a really nice light cotton material. And I actually like this kind of ruched detail. It gives it a little bit of dimension. And then for the cushions, I particularly love this little setup here. I love the colors. This is from TK Maxx. I actually only got this about two weeks ago. I think it was about 13 euros on sale. I love these long conical shaped cushions. Is conical even a word? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, they're completely ridiculous and completely useless, but I just love the way they look with everything. And then these two big cushions, these are 50 by 50 centimeters and these are from Ikea. You may remember these from one of my recent interiors hauls. They're a gorgeous kind of sheepskin fabric. They're really fluffy and just really, really gorgeous. And I think they're feather filled as well. So the cushions that I have at the back are the same 50 by 50 size but I have them propped up on the pillow so they add that little bit of height. These are from Next Home as well and they're not feather filled but they're just really really well stuffed. They have a really nice thickness to them and they're super comfy as well. And then for my actual pillow that I sleep on, I love sleeping on a silk pillowcase. I actually started doing this about 
maybe three years ago and it's just so nice. It's supposed to be incredible for your skin and for your hair and apparently it's like anti-aging and all this but really I just love the feeling of it. I love having a cool pillow. This one I believe is from Lilini which is actually another Irish brand and they're really really good. They do lots of different colors and they do twin sets as well so I'll leave their link below as well. Now finding the right headboard actually took me quite a long time. I wanted something that was tall enough. I wanted something that was tufted and I wanted something that wasn't ridiculously priced and let me tell you a lot of headboards are extremely expensive and really it's just a bit of wood with a bit of fabric over it but anyway enough of that so eventually after all my looking I found the perfect one in Harvey Norman and it originally was about 250 euros but I actually got it in the January sale for about 190 euros I think it's a king size bed so it's a king size headboard and what I have done with this which I think is very clever is if you look down here I don't think you can see but I have the headboard propped up on two really really strong thin cardboard boxes they're actually my glossy box boxes which is really funny um the headboard is a solid piece of wood so it's really really sturdy that was one of the reasons why i chose this one some of the headboards have this big thing and then these two little rickety kind of leg things and they wobble a lot which i did not want this one is a solid piece of material going all the way down it's like covered and everything so when i popped it on it came up to just about the height of that cushion there but i wanted it to be that little bit higher higher to have that nice graduating dimension with all the cushions so what I did was I just propped it up on those two boxes on either side and I swear it's so sturdy like it does not move it never rattles it stays put and it's just giving it that bit extra height because obviously the higher the headboard you get I think the more expensive it is so this one is a really really good choice it's called the Duval headboard in grey and I will leave a link to it below I think this headboard is quite popular because it's often out of stock in Harvey Norman. I know when I ordered it in January I had to wait quite a while for it to come into stock again but I do think it's worth it because it is a very good price for how gorgeous it is. So that is the finished effect and I just love how the headboard makes this whole area of the room look. It just feels so much more plush and just really cozy and I love the colours as well. Now one more thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about with my whole bed setup is my mattress and I absolutely believe that the mattress is one of the most important parts of the whole bed. You have to have a good mattress or you're not going to get a good night's sleep. So the mattress that I have underneath all this loveliness is an Aska mattress and it's by an Irish company. I did mention these in my favorites video but I wanted to give you guys a better overview in this whole kind of bedroom tour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip the bed, take everything off and show you what the mattress looks like and give you a little bit more information about it. Now you guys know I was super excited about my mattress when I ordered it and if you watched my recent favorites video you'll know a little bit of a gist about what the mattress is but I'm just going to explain it to you guys again here just in case you didn't watch that video. So this mattress is by a brand called Aska. They're an Irish brand and they actually launched quite recently. Now usually when people buy a mattress they go into a big furniture store and they choose from lots of different mattress designers and that big furniture brand buys in all those mattresses and then sells them on. So because you're dealing with a wholesaler and a distributor um, they tend to be more expensive that's part of the reason why there's a markup on mattresses so over the past few years a few companies have emerged in the US and also in the UK that have done a direct to consumer model which basically means they sell mattresses directly online to the customer without having a middleman so when you don't have a middleman aka a big brand distributing the mattresses you can make them a lot less expensive so that is what Aska have done so after moving into this new apartment in January we really really needed to get a new mattress. For my new mattress I obviously wanted to go down this direct to consumer route but all of the brands that I was looking at were in the US and the UK and didn't ship to Ireland but then lo and behold Aska appeared and they ship to Ireland because they're an Irish company. They actually just do one type of mattress which cuts out all of the confusion when you're shopping for a mattress. So their specific mattress is designed to just be the best for pretty much everybody. It has a special type of supportive gel foam and that's supposed to keep you cooler when you sleep. I'm somebody who gets really, really warm when they sleep and I just get really uncomfortable. So having a cooling layer on my mattress was really, really important to me because it's like my number one annoyance when I sleep. Now, thankfully I don't suffer from any back pain or back problems or any kind of muscle problems, but my boyfriend Yosef is very tall and he has a very long back and he actually does suffer with lower back pain. And after the first like night in the mattress, 
mattress he noticed that his back was more supported and more comfortable and then he felt a difference after a few days I can't say that I felt a huge difference in my body because I don't have any back or muscle pain but it, all I can say is that it is very very comfortable to sleep on so even though this video is a general bedroom tour I wanted to give you guys a lot more information on my mattress because it is new and it's something I'm really really excited about and also this video is not sponsored by Aska I just wanted to give them some support because they are an Irish company and they have a very very good product now I did however ask them for a discount code which they kindly gave me I have left the code right down in the description below and you can use it for 50 euros off a mattress and if you're buying multiple mattresses let's say for a family or a house you will get a further 50 euros off every mattress that you buy which is pretty cool especially since the mattresses are so affordable anyway it's that little bit extra help which is great so there you have it guys that is my completed bedroom tour I hope that you love it just as much as I do and like I said all of the links to everything will be in the description below and if it's not a clickable link I will just leave information for where the item is from so don't worry all the answers will be in the description if you liked this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more interiors and DIY videos I will leave a link to a playlist right here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will leave a button right here I post two new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one bye Feel love, feel love.